Well, I wonder how this is going to turn out, Paul. It's the first time that we have done an episode using the MacBook for a while. And it's simply because we are in a hotel, we've been away for a couple of nights, and we have got a shopping haul, a rather big one. So let's start the show. I'm worried because I don't know how we're going to get all this stuff home. We bought so many items and we only brought a small suitcase and a carry bag with us. And um, it is quite a haul. Anyway, we better get started because who knows how long it's going to take to get through this stuff. You've got a book to show us here, Paul. Why don't you bring that over? I picked up this book and it's called Queer Book and it talks about the historical struggles that the LGBTQ plus community have gone through. And it's also speaking about um, fun facts. And I think it's um, very interesting. So I think it a documents from the 1960s to the present day. Well, mention Stonewall, of course, in New York. In 1969, and then the uh, dealt with the Stonewall riots, and then it says something about the Stonewall, a UK support group. Yes. When it became organized. Um, so, yeah. So, let's just have a look and see what it says. It says, um, queerness is everywhere. It always has been, and it always will be. Are you ready? Queer we go. And it's written by Malcolm McKenzie. So yeah, I think that's it's quite a quite a find. And it wasn't the only queer type book that we picked up because you've got another one. Oh, I've got it. <laughs> so on the floor here. Um, Seeing Gender. And it's an illustrated guide to identity and expression. We'll go into that in another episode because we are going to mark Pride at the end of June. So stay tuned for that. So I think the next thing is over here. And when we go to charity shops especially, I am always on the lookout for something that might make an item on a future show. And I've had it in my head that I want to do a quiz show type thing. And this seems to be perfect. It's a game called Ten Clues. But how many will you need? And it says, can you guess the name of a person, place or object within 10 clues? The sooner you answer correctly, the bigger your score. And it was originally from M&S and the shop that oh. we got this in was charging three pounds. So it probably was about a tenner, I would reckon, back uh, when it was sold at M&S. So look out, we might be doing a quiz show. So I think we will have a list of the charity shops that we visited at the end of the program. Yes, we can't remember exactly which item Not came. Not at this current moment, no. And uh, some of the items didn't come from charity shops, but, but we will say which <clears throat> ones uh, they are. As we are looking at books, there is another book here. This wasn't a charity shop book, but this no, is this was some Waterstones. This this is one that you bought and you'd been looking at it before. What's it called? It's well, it's called The Book You Want Everyone You Love to Read, and it's by Philippa Perry. So I think I saw this back when we visited Rochester and I did like the sound of it and I did skim through it at that previous shop but I bought it at Waterstones this time because I do like to have my books at hand yes I'm still burning books yes I do still like to burning read. no like I'm like I'm burning the burning trees. through books you mean you're not you're <laughs> burning books that's sacrilege my dear I don't burn books no <clears throat> I don't um no there is something about page turning and going through the books I do like to read. Um, but yeah, um, so I think this was a good find as well. Um, I did pay full price at Waterstones. But you are part of the Waterstones 
uh, loyalty scheme. So you get points, don't you? So I get um, a stamp for every ten pounds I spend. Um, so I got four stamps today. And you need how many stamps to get money off ten? So I think I need ten in total. And that gets you ten pounds off. Yeah. Oh, well, that's quite a good so deal. So that's basically what ten percent or something. Yeah, that's not bad. <clears throat> so yeah, so then there's this one and now. Marcus has something coming up. It's coming up, actually, yes, literally coming up. This lovely sheep. Now, I keep going at this because I just want to make sure we can see ourselves on the screen. And the sheep wants to see herself on the screen as well. And what really attracted me to this lovely little one was the fact that she had the Scottish flag. And she only cost two pounds. And aren't you lovely? <laughs> Oh, and speaking of furry things, we picked this up, and this is something you might see in a future episode as well, because um, as I said, I'm always on the lookout for things that might come in handy for something, and I have an idea of what we could do with this pencil. Yes, it's a pencil with a fur ball and two sparkly ears. Can um, you guess what we might be doing with this? Oh, I thought you were going to say something there, Paul. No, I don't have anything to oh, say. Oh, I know what it was. You wanted me to tickle your ears. Oh, <laughs> gosh. I don't like my ears tickled. Uh, what's next? Clothing, I think. Did you do this? Or I not? did. I did the game, yes. yes. Did you, this is you the, want to do this? Oh, okay. Let's do this one next, then. Mm -hmm. um, yes, this was a, a luxury set, a luxury tin set from the Fuzzy Duck. And it's a comes, boots make. I think. Well, it's Bayless and Harding, actually, oh, right, it says. Okay. Yeah, it may, oh, sorry. Have, it may have been sold originally at Boots, but it was £5 at the charity shop where we got it. I think that it's a lot more expensive when you buy it at Boots. Oh, I would think so. So it is a hair and body wash, a muscle soak crystals, which come in a nice little jar, aftershave like. balm, yes, and a bar of soap. So I think this will be very handy. For me especially, because I do like to bathe. But I need to have a bathe right now after we do this episode. Yeah. Good job it's not smell vision Right, on to the clothes now, I think, Okay, Paul. so I found this at the first charity shop that we went to. Ah, yes. I forgot the actual name of it. Well, we'll put a list up at the end we of all the shop. So right. this is... A collection inspired by Italy. So this, is that an M and S brand? I think it could be. Yeah. yeah. So lovely. I like this um, fabric, and I do like the patterns. It is, I think, uh, blue. There's some violet. There's some turquoisey, but there's blue. There's like white, and it's um, it's. It's quite nice. I did try it on at the charity shop before I bought it. Uh, I think it was only seven pounds. Yes, that's right. And what so is the material is, actually? I think this is What's like one of the premium cotton. Oh, right. There should be a label on it, it somewhere. It should be down here somewhere. It's usually at the bottom of these things, isn't it? Oh, jeez. Just to find it. Oh, well, maybe there isn't a label. Oh. Or is it in here? Ah, here it is. It is M and S. It actually says M and S on no. it. Down here. Yes, I thought it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so it is. Oh, it's a hundred percent cotton. Yeah, so this, cotton. So this is going to be difficult to iron, but yeah, oh. I think it's oh, going to be well worth it. Yeah. So yeah. Um, speaking of clothing, mm. I also got this other one, and this is a. A green t-shirt um this might be small for me so i need to be inspired to lose weight um so on the front and back it says ignition mm. but what's the make more to the, the point back is also ignition so you will recall that when we were in new zealand we went to this uh retailer called as color or is it as i could never remember. yeah whatever one of those so it is as color and this is just a, co a complete coincidence this is from them too oh is it yeah i think oh, this yeah. we might have bought this in the shop 
at Waiheke. You bought it at the shop. At, Wai, at the at Waiheke. Yeah. Yeah, but it is from that company. Um, it's that. I make. do like the fabric of the cotton t-shirts. Yes. Oh, it is very very nice. But again, cotton's quite difficult to iron, isn't it? Have we got anything else? Oh, I've got clothes as well. So. <laughs> You I've do. been trying to renew my work shirts because some of the shirts I've been wearing, I've had them for 15 years. And um, even they're quite, some of them are a smaller size than I actually am. I think it's because they've expanded over the years with my stomach. But I am an 18 and a half um, collar now. And it's quite difficult to find. Um, when we had gone a couple of to a couple of M&S outlets recently, I was able to find one single 18 and a half. And um, in the meantime, I've also had to retire a shirt as well. So the net gain has only been one shirt. So I needed to get more. And Paul gets um, coupons with his M&S credit card to either get money off or to earn points. Points when I spend a certain amount um with the credit card. And then the points will give you money off the next Later time on. when you get another statement. So I was delighted to see that the um, M&S that we visited had a twin pack of my long sleeve regular fit 18 and a half inch collar shirt. Now, when we were going up to the till, I suddenly thought, oh, don't I have some sort of clothing offer on my Sparks mm -hmm. card? And um, it turned out that I did. Now, we couldn't mix my Sparks with uh, Paul's coupon. So what did I do? Well, we we bought this. We got the extra 300 points. And then I, I get you this one? Well, I no. don't know which way around it was. Then I went back over and picked this up. So, um, yeah, it's a slight, slightly so different color. So they are I think the blue one's the same. No, no, it's different. I don't think so. Yeah. I think this is um, larger blue, and then that is um, smaller blue type. Oh, and, it is. And these two are just slightly different colors. You said you like the red, but the thing was with my coupon, I got 15% off. So they cost £40 each. So mine cost £34. And the one that Paul bought for me was forty pounds, but he got three hundred points, which is worth three pounds. So we basically saved, if you like, nine pounds. A save's a save yeah, over the course of eighty quid. But I do need work shirts, you see, because I still have a job, at least while we're recording this. I know. Uh, <laughs> what's next, Paul? Oh. Now, as I say, we like to pick things up that might come in useful. So if you watch our children's episodes, well, you might be seeing these in future. I think what they are, they are little so cake sticks to put on like a birthday cake. So someone might be having a birthday in the near future. No, it might, it might not even be us. Oh God, I feel as though I need some water. Um, can you reach that over, Paul? What's this? It's a water bottle. This huh? is a water bottle and it it's is just from, plunk. From plunk. This ah. is the a modern day. So wait, this is for wine, is it? Oh, it's for wine. Oh my gosh. Oh, I, wow. I thought this was just a water bottle. <laughs> well, you could use it for water. The modern day wine solution to use at home and on the go. The oh. stainless steel insulated bottle will control the temperature of your wine. Oh. So you can enjoy it. The way it should be served. Reuse and refill time and time again. Oh wow. I saw this in the charity shop and I thought it was for water. Well, do you know what you've just done? What did I do? You've just turned water into wine, oh my, my dear. <laughs> <laughs> and you were gonna throw this bit out because you thought that you couldn't carry it. I think you should keep this. I think I should keep it too. Yeah. We'll just have to manage. Manage somehow. Oh, is that everything? I don't see anything else there is sitting more. around us. But, oh, wait a minute. Behind us, you may have noticed in the background, there has been someone with very big ears, right? We're not talking about me. No. Over here, we have got this lovely creature and some others as well. Where's this one? Oh, 
Taking time to reflect, Paul. Hmm, yes. I think it's time for you to subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's Paul and Marcus. Look, someone's taking your seat, Paul. We'll come to this chap in a second, but we picked up this guy at a charity shop and, oh, actually, there's a box as well. Where's his box gone? It's down here. It's down there. Hold on to Skippy. This is Skippy. And he comes from Go Skippy Insurance. Now, was that a British company? I don't know. Or has he come all the way is it Aussie? from Australia? But he is a kangaroo and that's his box right there. But this guy, oh gosh, <laughs> he didn't come from a charity shop, oh no. We paid full price for this lovely, lovely guy. So who are you? You've got a name, haven't you, dear? He's a jelly cat. He's a jelly cat. He is Dario Donkey. We're not going to tell you how much he cost, but he he's huge. Look at the size of him. He's nearly as big as me. <laughs> well, he didn't like that. And he's got lovely big ears. We do collect jelly cats. We've got quite a collection and I'm thinking it's about time that we did a jelly cat episode. Um, well, oh, do you see fireworks in I the background? Do now. Wow. Gosh. Well, well show up. if you haven't seen any fireworks, then you will not know what on earth we are talking about. We've just seen fireworks. In the <laughs> well, so this is Dario Donkey. And he is absolutely, I was going to say, delicious. What? He's absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> well, I think that's everything, isn't it, Paul? Yeah. So there's only one thing left to say, really. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel today. If you haven't subscribed already, please hit the subscribe button. And for those of you that have liked it, hit the like button. And for those of you that want to leave a comment, please do so as well, because we do really appreciate reading your comments as well. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>seem to forget something when we do one of our hauls i find this in a plastic bag and i'm going to have to rip it open to show you and to be honest it might come in handy because we've just discovered our hotel that we've run out of hotel what? soap yeah and shower gel you so should, you should keep the bag I don't, well, rip the bag now i don't Why want, you do that? well i have to open it somehow and anyway we don't have enough room so it is avon senses gingerbread hand wash and gingerbread shower cream so there we go even more stuff that we have to carry home